Today, we're introducing iOS 4.1, the next release of iOS. And it's got some really cool stuff in it. So let me go through what it's got. First of all, a lot of bugs have been fixed. Proximity sensor bugs, Bluetooth bugs, iPhone 3G performance bugs, all the bugs that we get mails on. Uh, <laughs> we think we've nailed a lot of them. And we think you're going to be pretty happy with it. Secondly, we've added a really cool thing called HDR photos, high dynamic range photos. And I'll explain that in a minute. But that's going to be standard in iOS 4.1. The ability to upload HD video over Wi-Fi to YouTube and other places built into 4.1. TV show rentals in addition to purchases. And Game Center is now making its debut for end users. And we think this is going to be a pretty big deal, too. So let's start off with high dynamic range photos. What are high dynamic range photos? Well, when we take a photo, a lot of times we get it where it's blown out with light. You can see it washed out with this bright light coming in over the building there. Well, when you turn on HDR just by tapping on that button there, when you take a photo, it actually takes three photos in rapid succession. It takes one normal exposure, what it thinks is the appropriate exposure, and then one that's underexposed and one that's overexposed. And it combines these three with some pretty sophisticated algorithms to produce an HDR photo. And it's pretty amazing. And we keep both the normal photo and the HDR photo in the Photos app. So you can just compare the two of them and use the one you like. But it's really remarkable in some photos. And let me show you a few other examples. Here's another one where you can see how HDR has pulled out the sky and pulled out the detail in the foreground. Here's another one where you can see it's trying to pull out the shadow in the background. You can see her legs pulling them out of the shadows as well. Take a look at this one. You can't even see the pavement, the one on the left. And look at how it's pulled all that out from the one on the right. And one final one again, you can see the sky in a lot more detail in the background using HDR. So for some photos, it's, it's pretty great. And uh, it's built into iOS 4.1. Another thing we've built in is Game Center. And Game Center is both APIs for developers to build into their apps, and it's an app called Game Center right on the phone. Game Center is all about multiplayer games. And it allows you to challenge your friends to multiplayer games, and they can challenge you. And if you don't have any friends, it'll auto-match you with people. <laughs> so it's pretty great in that way, too. And you can compare scores, and you can discover new games your friends are playing. So it's pretty nice. So as an example, uh, this is Thor, and Thor can take a look at uh, the games that they've played with other people. And Thor is one of uh, my 73 friends, let's say. I've got 73 friends. And uh, I've got uh, 19 games that are multiplayer games that work with Game Center. So I can take one of those games and, as an example, Angry Birds, I can look at leaderboards, I can look at achievements, uh, and, and, and everything I've done with my friends to see how I'm doing. So here I'm inviting uh, two friends, Appleseed and Thor, and I'm going to get matched up with Game Center with two other players of roughly equal ability, all automatically. Or if Thor wants to invite me to play a game, this is what it looks like. Right? Thor has invited me. I can decline or accept. So that's Game Center. So those are just uh, two of the many things in iOS 4.1. And it's going to be available next week. It's for iPhone and iPod Touch. And it's going to be a free download via iTunes. So look for it, iOS 4.1, next week. Now I've got a little surprise for you today. Uh, it's a sneak peek at the next iOS release, 4.2. 4.2 is going to come a little later this year, and it's all about iPad. It's bringing everything to iPad, iOS 4.1, with its multitasking, its folders, Game Center, HDR photos, everything you saw here, all of it to iPad. Wireless printing. We're adding wireless printing to iOS. 
And, and we're adding something really cool called AirPlay, which we'll talk about a little later today. So let me give you a, a little feel for uh, printing. Um, so let's say we're in pages on the iPad and we want to print. And we push the tools button here with our finger and we get up our tools and we see there's print now. And we push print and we get to select our printer. We get the number of pages, very, very simple. And we can just say print. Now, again, select a printer for the front office. So we're going ahead and we're printing. Whenever we're printing, down below, if we bring up the multitasking bar, we see that it's put print center right in the front and shown us how many jobs are printing, in this case, one. And we can go examine it. We can even cancel it if we want to. So that gives you a feel for how simple printing is going to be in iOS. And it's very powerful. Now, what is AirPlay? Well, you know what AirTunes is. It's streaming music over Wi-Fi to an Airport Express base station so you can listen to music all over your house from your mobile device. Well, we're changing the name of AirTunes to AirPlay because it's not just going to be music anymore. You're going to be able to stream audio, but also video and photos over Wi-Fi to other devices. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So let me just give you a brief demo of iOS 4.2 running on an iPad. I've got my iPad here. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, just go ahead and swipe over here and let me launch Pandora. And uh, I've got some Jack Johnson music here. Let's go ahead and play that. And let me bring up the multitasking bar. There it is. And let's go to mail. So we're multitasking here, listening to Pandora in the background. And there's mail. We've got uh, multi-threaded mail here. So again, two messages from Gary Dunn. And uh, here's one talking about a Gibson West Montgomery guitar. So let's go take a look at that. Now we've multitasked over to uh, the browser. And here we are on the web. Right. Again, we can just go over here and stop and start our music. Very, very simple. So let me show you uh, folders now. Um, let's go ahead and make a folder with our news apps. So I can just uh, get into jiggle mode here and I'll just put NPR on top of Wall Street Journal and it's made a folder called news right here which I could rename if I want to. And I'll go ahead and put the Financial Times in there and put Editor's Choice in there. And I can even put this down on my dock if I want to. And now I've got a news folder uh, right there with my news apps in it, right on my iPad. So all of us that use iPhones uh, know and love all these features. And uh, we love them. And we can't wait to get them on our iPad. So. When is 4.2 coming out? It's coming out in November. And it's going to be a free update for iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch with all those new features in it.